What's up? I'm Justin. I'm Edwin. I'm Luke. I'm Eli. And we are Days. Days kind of came about, it started off with I was in this band. Just as life comes, you know, like people come and go, go off to college and whatnot. Um, I needed a singer. The singer of my band wasn't there anymore. So then uh, we had hit up Eli to sing for us. And then, yeah, so we tried him out and then like perfect fit, you know. And then everybody in the band, we've all been around the same group of people. Yeah. Just never like got to personally know each other. So Eli joined the band and then uh, at that point our bassist at the time went off to college and uh, funny enough him and JB were in a band together as well. Yeah, before. So then um, yeah, he left and then a natural fail was like, you know what, like we all know Justin, like might as well hit him up, you know? And perfect fit, just naturally fit. And then same thing, drummer went and then we all knew Luke and uh, this, this time uh, our bands had uh, played shows together before. So like we already knew each other, we would skate together a lot. And uh, we were just like, you know what, it only makes sense that like we're already best friends, like just join the band, right? And so that's kind of just how it all fell into place. Yeah, like I didn't know any of these guys until I met Edwin just from playing shows. I saw Eli at like a couple open mics here and there and then... Um, well, we had, uh, yeah. we had, I had actually seen Luke a few times. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, had, uh, I had actually met Luke a few times, not like, not on a very like personal like uh, kind of encounter, but we had, uh, again, like... The, uh, the community of friends that we had grown up in, like, you know, a lot of us were all, like, kind of kind of connected through it. So there was uh, this group of friends that always used to ride bikes, like, around, like, San Bernardino a lot. And uh, so one day I remember, like, we had we had met up in the same group a couple times, and I was like, oh, there's that guy again, like, the guy with, you know, Chechers and white, white guy, yeah. It was kind of just really the band that, like, pulled all of us together, though. So, and then same for uh, JB, like, I knew JB in high school and stuff, I would see him all the time like around the school, but uh, again like same community of people but we never really talked much, but again once once we all got into the band it was kind of what really brought everybody together. You know, listening to music and stuff I always kind of found myself singing along to songs. My cousin, he had actually started playing guitar very early on and then even just like, so he would do a lot of covers, he started singing and then I think when he re he really started kind of picking up momentum with that, that I was kind of like, oh, maybe like maybe I'll give it a shot. And then yeah, you know, he played acoustic and he sang, so it was just like, oh, well, if I have an acoustic, like, why can't I do the same thing? I started playing in my brother's band, which funny enough, like Eli's cousin used to like sing in my brother's band yeah, too, <laughs> way back in the day. <laughs> now that I think about yeah. it. Yeah, so I was right there playing bass. And that was like my first introduction to the bass. And from there, after like they all kind of like grew up, went to college and whatnot, I just started like playing and writing songs myself. It wasn't until uh, Days was coming together that uh, Edwin hit me up. He's like, hey, you play bass, right? I was just like, yeah, like I'm down to play with you. Like, you're, you're really sick. <laughs> That's kind of how that came about. Me and my best friend uh, both had guitars and every day we just learn off of each other, you know. Started songwriting, covering songs, you know, but that, yeah, I believe like 12 is around the time I like my earliest memories of writing music. And then after that, I just felt like such a connection with it, you know, whether it was like venting or just inspiration or just wanting to copy like the people I admired, you know. But yeah, something just about it. Like once I picked it up, I could never stop. My dad always had a drum set, but like I didn't I never really played when I was young and then in fifth grade I met my friend Julian and his mom Alicia. They like opened my eyes to music. Then they just showed me all kinds of musics and like they were always going to shows and I just really got into it. So I ended up getting a bass. I played that for a little bit, then my cousin started a band, he needed a drummer and I was like, ah, my dad did it, I'm sure I can. For me personally, like even just growing up with music and writing, um, I felt like inspiration always came from some sort of emotion, whether it be like happiness, depression, love, like, you know, it always just sparks something that you just want to put thoughts, I guess, I couldn't express in person on a paper and then thus turning them into a song. And even nowadays, just like certain views, like for example, like being up here, it's like a beautiful scenery, you see all the local shops, you know, there's music going on. I mean, that can just inspire something, you know? Like there's been a couple songs where, uh, me and Justin have written up at uh, this one view in San Bernardino, like surprisingly it might be the hood, but it has some of the most uh, beautiful sceneries you'll see if you know where to find them. Kind of very hand in hand with what Edwin says. Inspiration can kind of come from a lot of different things, even again, life life experiences or things that you've kind of dealt with. Biggest inspirations for me would 
mainly revolve around like a lot of other artists. Again, starting out, there was like the Kooks that I used to listen to a lot. And uh, now more so it would be like, maybe like the neighborhood and like uh, Foles or like Tudor Cinema Club. Tudor Cinema Club and like Foles were bigger inspirations for our sound, like kind of putting, yeah, just putting as days we, together. Yeah, yeah, as we were starting up. Honestly, for me, I think I rode, I didn't do anything. I didn't want to go to college. Luck, I was fortunate enough not to get a job right away, and then uh, I just rode fixed gears like every single day. So like after that point, I just went like with graphic design, I went all in, riding, I was riding like every day, playing drums every day, and that was like fun. I gotta like build my skill for a bit, and then after that it was just gotta work, gotta pay rent, gotta do all this stuff. So it gets harder, but all that stress kind of just fuels my fire for me to just keep pushing, and keep grinding, and keep doing your thing. So. We're all songwriters. There's times where like Eli will have like a, a like a song or a demo he's been working on, and he'll present it to us. And some parts are established, and then some parts aren't. And like we all come in and put in our input, and vice versa. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll, I'll bring a song to the table, and like everybody will work around those parts. But then we'll have like magic moments too, where you just go into practice and you just start jamming, and then like five minutes later you stop at the end of the jam. You're like. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're like, oh my god, let's run that back. Like, does that, please tell me everybody remembers what they play. Yeah, it's like we should have threw down the recorder. But uh, yeah, and some, we have moments like that. I think we all have a common goal, and like, our our music taste is all fairly similar. So I think there's always going to be that middle ground. But yeah, it definitely sometimes can take a while to get to that middle ground. You know, it just we usually down. go body in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. Five, no face shots though. Like one minute, yeah, no headshots. Winner's ideas on goes in the song. <laughs> yeah, I think we've just kinda we've just kinda really learned how to like work with each other. Even like when we do have like conflict, uh, we've kinda we've had a lot of opportunities to practice working around that. A comparison a lot of us always like see the band as is like basically it's like a relationship, you know, like if one person's neglecting it or if one person's not putting in their uh, you know their their effort it, it kind of drags the band down so uh so the, this guy you know <laughs> but uh yeah so it's i think uh there it is there it is we were, we were all waiting for it that's one thing that's kind of helped us out along or helped us out a lot along the way is uh, just really establishing like a friendship you know before everything i think we made it like a real point to really try out all the ideas and then like once we try out the ideas, then it does like open our eyes to which one we think fits in the song. Sometimes we just end up throwing both in. Quick and straight to the point would be don't give up. I mean it's a lot of people like especially as a like an artist, it's so easy to hit like a wall every time you go to attempt to write something or even I'm sure like drawing or like painting, anything like that. That like feeling of gratification of like learning the first song and being like, wow, like I can play this now like front to back or even you know the first time I learned to play and sing a song at the same time it was like well I did that like it just you just got to really stick it out like keep trying and I'd say to add to that uh, just be genuine about it I feel like if you if you really aim to to make this like let's say a career and just continue doing this for the rest of your life you know it has to be genuine it's like they say like if you find if you work in something you love you'll never work a day in your life it's like as simple as that you know just don't stop learning. The biggest thing I've realized if I ever hit a stagnant point is that there's so much more to learn. There's so much more that I can't do in in just bass alone. Like I look at myself as a musician, but in bass alone, like I dig in. I've been digging into rhythms and that just opened like so many doors. It's it's like a rabbit hole. The further you go, the more you realize that it, it just keeps going. I would just say get good at listening. Listen to like YouTube videos, other musicians, anyone in the field. And just be a, be a sponge to everything. Soak it all up and just experience life and then figure out your, your flow of mixing it all together and getting your work out there. The point of it isn't to be like famous, to be like, oh, you know, this many people know me, like I'm this popular or whatever. It's simply just to make, you know, to be able to spend your life doing what you love. And I think just making connections with people too, because I remember at like a really young age, like one of my favorite bands ever is uh, Circus Survive. Something with that band and their music, like I'd get like goosebumps on me, you know, and it's just that feeling like when you listen to like certain songs, certain bands and uh, just to create that feeling, you know. 
like if I could do that for somebody else and then just even then when somebody like if you have if you're wearing like a band t-shirt and somebody else is wearing that same band t-shirt they acknowledge like the band it's like your best friends already like music brought you together so it's just the the connections we continue to make too and the friendships I think that's also like a big part of me that keeps me in this just the whole community of it like I can't think of anything else than music like I, I'm pretty sure in all our minds like music's just playing all day long. It seems like most of you guys have been here before, so you know what happens next.